is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben, and today uh, we are tasting two of the Flora and Fauna series, which appeared anew on the market. They were reintroduced in Central Europe, and they are quite a time on the market, I think at least 25 years, probably longer. And these whiskies are, uh, well, they are kind of original bottlings, uh, but they have no distillery label, but a label with uh, animals and, and uh, plants on it. And the Strathmill, here the 12 years old Strathmill has uh, a pied wagtail here on the picture on the label. And these little birds, they, they they are working with their tail every time you see it and they are quite familiar there and the distillery is situated on the banks of the river Isla uh, I-S-L-A uh, not to <laughs> uh, mix up with the Isle of Isla and in the time before 1895 the distillery there was called Glen Isla Glen Livet and then they changed it to Strathmill and uh, well I've been there mm, 1997 or something like that yeah and it's quite a big distillery they are working for the blended whiskey industry and this one is yeah a little bit more sherry cast matured if I see it right mm. I can't add anything. <laughs> I've never had any whiskey from the distillery. Never been there. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Just here to try it. <laughs> okay. Um, so here we go. So have you been in there or just yeah. driven around it? So this was a time then in. <laughs> <laughs> in the old millennia <laughs> when uh, all regulations weren't that strict as they are today today every distillery is called a, a chemical plant with highly regulated things and in those times uh, if you came after four o'clock then the night shift had taken over everybody was gone and there was one or two person in the distillery and they were happy to have somebody talking to them <laughs> and showing us around and uh, so we've seen everything then took pictures you find them on whiskey.com in the database section uh, database distilleries and then Stratmill. yeah and uh, there you find all those uh, pictures I think I, I made 10,000 pictures in the distilleries <laughs> yeah nice to remember that but I haven't been there it's in the in Keith, so it's Eastern Highlands, and very seldom our way we find our way to Eastern to the Eastern Highlands. Last time I had been there with you. Uh, and had some drone footage taken over there, but not of this distillery. Mm -hmm. It's darker. Today I have a a glass with a, a color stripe on it. Yeah, yeah what to tell. Uh, this is definitely a sherry cask matured whiskey, not 100%, but has a decent amount of sherry cask influence. Full, full volume dark fruitiness, pleasant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it has a, a pleasant fruitiness, dark and heavy. So that's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what's in there. <laughs> and yeah, that, <laughs> that just describes it very well. <laughs> you, you can't claim ownership of that description. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, it's really, it feels a sh like a sherry character, mm. but it feels like a, a dark velvet glove. Mm. Mm. Almost like a little bit of a flowery, rosy touch to it. Rosy, that's right, yeah. There's a, a little Roses, uh, yeah. different aromatic note, like this rose oil. 
Rose oil, yeah. Yeah. From the marzipan? Yeah, you know, when you snow. when you make what would you the plätzchen? <laughs> the <laughs> Christmas cookies. Christmas cookies. Special ones. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Astonishingly intense. Now the f the f uh, citrus fruitiness kicks in, in the well below uh, the dark fruitiness of the cherries. Little dryness in the aftertaste. Caramel. Hint of vanilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's. Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of a sweetness combined with a bit of a mm -hmm. sour note, sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. Very juicy. I would have expected a li little bit more dark in there. So you do have a little bit of a rose touch to it, a little bit of a velvet touch feel to it. But it's um, light and fresh, but also a little bit... I don't know how to describe it well. It's very, very. In the long aftertaste, there's the oakiness. In the very tail mm -hmm. of the aftertaste. Mm. I find it nice how how they all have an aromatic note. We all had all these three had a little bit of an aromatic note in it. Gives it all all just a little bit of a twist. I like this one really good. Is it is it twelve or oh this is the twelve one. And stuff mill is. Completely unknown to the public. Mm -hmm. I, I do not remember any uh, original bottling beside this one. Mm -hmm. So it's for the blend whiskey industry. But they do not produce that much whiskey, just 2 million liter alcohol per year. Mm, 2 million is. Not too bad. Not yes. too bad. <laughs> <laughs> 2 million is 2 million. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So. so yeah, that was the Strathmill. So only this bottling and a few independent bottlings are out there on the market. So if you want to have some of a uh, yeah, more individualistic, some of a not well-known distilleries, you should get out there and find one of these Strathmill bottles for you. It's between 50 and 60 euros, so roughly around 60 dollars. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.